Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reviewing to the final episode of Star Trek Over the Cure. So yeah, after literally last week butchering the crap out of the show and saying what I had to show in the final thoughts, um, I'm honestly excited just to see how this show will typically end bringing in um, Aoyuki's character for healing good pretty here because we already know. If you didn't know now, like, I, I stand Aoyuki, and I already know she's going to make this next series so good. And I can't wait to just have a little bit of her until next Sunday when the episode officially comes out. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the finale in three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Oh. Why are there three friends? Oh, damn. Oh no! Your parents! I really did it, you Oh. Good. Hmm? You're so cute. Cause I got it. That's sweet, though. Really sweet. Oh, my God. I'm not going to have this last episode of my cry. I, I don't have tissue or anything with me, so I'm not going to fucking cry. Understand? I, I mean that. We're not crying today. Even though this episode aired on Sunday, we are not crying at 1041 at night on Monday, January 27, 2020. <laughs> no. <laughs> not crying. I swear to God, we're not going to cry. I am not going to cry. I mean, honestly. I'll say, like, honestly, I felt like the movie made me cry more than, like, maybe the first few minutes of this episode. Even though we're not done with the episode, we just started it in this. But I don't think it's going to um, give me that crying impression, that, that moment of sadness and everything. How, like, Go Princess or Kitty 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 Kira um, a la mode or even Maho Girls gave me because like those three shows the ending like I was a fucking baby crying over that is and then Hagato Hagato made me cry a little bit like tear up but not like a hot mess <laughs> but <laughs> those other three shows I was a hot behind mess and I don't really think I'm going to get that much with this but I will miss it for what it was even though I had a lot of creative differences with this show. Are we going to say the president? Hmm.
I honestly thought all three of them would have started crying. Like, everybody should have been crying. Oh, it just got cold in here. Are we serious? Okay. Makes sense. You can already, okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this. You can hear a little bit how she kind of sounds like, um, <laughs> he got it. <laughs> I mean, he, he, from Stinfucker, a little bit of Madoka and a little bit of Futaba, but it, it's just all three of those characters mixed into one, but she's more light with it, and I'm actually okay with that. She has a little bit of her Tanya voice in there too, but not like maybe when she yells once we see her transformation and stuff. So maybe. Mm.
I'm still kind of hoping with going into healing good that they still do sing while they transform because that was something that was unique with it and I think it's something that they could still bring in into future pretty care shows but who knows I mean they could just be like I just want it start pretty uh, star triple pretty care I don't want it in feeling good but it's really up to um total animation and how they want to do it I personally would like the singing in it I think it's nice it's different it makes it more memorable in a way but yeah And because, like, remember the transformations for, like, Kita Kita or freaking Gold Princess and how memorable those were? Like, oh my god, how gorgeous they were. And I'm just like, uh. I feel like rewatching them. So God, I'm gonna miss you. My best girl. Oh my god. But she's in something else that I'm watching, so I'll still get those feels, but not as much. We're going to talk more about it through the every episode. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. And she's gone. Hmm. Oh, hold up. So she's older now. Yeah, that makes the most sense. She's just having a dream from the past. Oh, you love Kate with short hair. It suits her. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Madoka. Like all three of them were doing. Oh my god, I can't. He's so pretty. Okay. Yes, that's the picture was doing that pass. That's sweet. That's actually different. I like that. So Lala Uni wouldn't be no, they are! Oh my god! Holy crap, you guys look so good! Oh my god! Can we just say that Lala looks like Hot Story Maker with her hair like that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Dude, I thought you'd be dead. That was cute. I think it would have been better if we would have got to see him just like hug one more time. That's the little, the one thing, my little nitpick about it that I'll take away. It was a good finale. I think it was a little bit better than Hagatos, in my opinion, because I didn't really like Hagatos that much. And I've barely heard a lot of people say that Hagato was their personal fave ending for the series. But still, I mean, yeah, of course, I still have my problems on the show. And I said all that last week. And I still stand to that till today. I do love the fact that Cure Grace, Aoyuki's character, came in. I already love her. She's giving me, her outfit is giving me feels towards Cure Flora. Literally, her whole aesthetic is Cure Flora, like, but times like <laughs> a thousand and i'm really excited to see freaking healing that i think it's going to be really good i think it's going to be a hell of a lot more better than this show um even though everything the good things and the bad things that i said about the show last week i still enjoyed it for what it was there were certain characters in the show that made the show while others didn't because of certain reasons but it was still good i give it like a six out of a ten. It, it was still good, but there were a lot of things that like didn't make the mark. But it's okay. Not every show is perfect, and that's fine. Oh, yeah, for the last time. You know what I kind of wish that they did with the uh, the fortune things? Did it every single episode. I think they did it for, like, what, two, three episodes, and then they just, like, cut it off. It was something that was interesting and different about it, because, like, um, what Kitty Kitty Pretty Carolimo did was the cooking thing. Whatever they made... That was um, brand new at the end of the episode. It showed you like how to make it yourself. And I thought it was something unique and different for this show. That I was like, okay, oh snap. They might wait until the girls get a different, you know, Zodiac every single week to do the lucky fortunes for them. But it was just for a couple of episodes and then it was gone. And it was never to be seen or heard from again. And I think probably, because I ultimately forgot about them too, because I, I kept thinking, I was like, I don't know if there's something that I can't. Because like with Aikatsu, um, what they do is typically towards the end of the series, they have like a little mini discussion about the dress and everything before the preview comes on. Even um, for Asteroid and Love, which is only a couple of weeks into uh, winter anime, they still have it. It's not really in the episode. They kind of release it around the time... Um, Crunchyroll is releasing the episode or sometime after where um they are having like a little mini news report on uh one of the um YouTube pages and it's like the cutest thing ever and I hope and pray that with healing good pretty cure and it's focusing on animals and stuff like that it goes a little bit more into detail for it but still I mean yeah if it doesn't happen it's okay if it does I think that'd be good um what else can I say about the show? I will say that the cast was good. It wasn't... There were some who outshined others. I really personally think that Lala's voice actress and, of course, Yuni's, because those two, especially Yuni's, is big, big. Like, 
if you don't know who her voice actress is, come on. Same thing, a little bit with Lala because Lala's is up and coming in new because she's been like from last year. She was in a lot of stuff that I was watching at the same time, but she's known for um, a couple of things. And I think it is the same person who voiced, yeah, I think it is. I think it's the same person who did Asa, um, Olivia and also Beyonce Basse. I have to look. Um, Elena was really good. Even though the only show that she's currently in right now that I know of besides this is My Hero. And she's barely kind of in that because since we're now into the next arc, she's probably not going to be in it as much. But she was a really good. Madoka was good as well. Same thing with Hi Hikaru. Even though my relationship with Hikaru and how she wasn't really personally my favorite pink here. Um, but to other people, you guys loved her and you welcomed her with open arms. I did too in the beginning until certain reasons but I still loved each girl for what they were what they did each girl had some good things and unique things about them and some bad qualities that I'm hoping that when they go into the next series it's not going to be 100% the same maybe 50% how with you know the Elena situation with someone being um a different eth uh, ethnicity and a different religion or what culture and everything that it gets more representation i hope the new girl because she seems like she is different from cure grace and the blue cure um that they if she has something they do a little bit more on her and maybe even so on and so forth for like later seasons if they decide to bring in someone who is um who's black who is uh european because it seems like the new uh Orange Cure seems Euro European somewhat. But who knows? We ain't gonna know until then. Okay, one more thing I do want to say. And I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna say this when um, Healing Good comes in. Because a lot of people did this when I started Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode. And I did reaction stuff because Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode was the first one that I reacted to. Um, I don't want as much spoilers on who the last cure is. When the last cure is coming. Because I kind of want to find out on my own. Just wait until she comes and ish because I feel like because once the toys come out and the toys are probably the, the toys will probably be out in what the next few weeks for the show. Um, so I know it's going to it's going to come up some way. I mean, I could be on YouTube one day and then it could be like right there. And I'm like, God damn it. But I mean, I think I don't want to get as spoiled as much as I've had in the past. I mean, I haven't like the last time I got really, really spoiled was Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl the first show that like I did a reaction to but like with Hagato um it was 50 50 with this it was very quiet I didn't get as much I did get some but not as much and so what I'm hoping with healing good I barely get some get a little bit but not too much where I'm like I get sent things of like look at this like did you see this and stuff like that and then I'm like I but I didn't want to know I wanted to like be kept on my own about it but yeah other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the series Star Twinkle Pretty here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys, hopefully, if it's not on Sunday, maybe next Monday for episode one of Healing Good Pretty Care. Because I can't wait. Because freaking Owie Yuki is going to beat the crap out of the show. She's going to, like take it off into a new stardom and honestly I cannot wait she's so good and I love her so much and I'm going to cry I'm trying not to but I, I know she's gonna like this show is just gonna be so much better and I honestly can't wait but until then I will see you guys all next time bye